Hey everybody, before we get started, I just want to remind you that this is my story. It's unique to me and your story may be different. So the best thing you can do is always consult with a physician when it comes to changes in diet, exercise, or vitamins. That being said, I've lost over 200 pounds since 2009. A lot healthier as a result of it. I'm no longer having to use a wheelchair to get around, so that's a good thing. Um, and the quickest weight loss that I experienced, the first like 100 pounds, came easy. All I did was cut out sugary drinks and hard candy. So soft drinks were gone completely. Uh, if I'm, I was drinking sweet tea, I just took the sugar out, continued to drink the tea. Uh, same thing with coffee. You can drink coffee black. It takes about a week to get used to that new taste. So just give it a week, really. And there's not a lot to put into um, something that could make a better use, so why not try it? After the first 100 pounds, uh, the weight loss started slowing down a little bit, which is actually a good thing because your body needs time to adjust. Um, so don't worry about that. But along the way, I found that as I was getting used to doing things a certain way, like after I got the sugar out of my system, I noticed that I had less cravings for fried foods, for example. So I decided, let's eliminate those and see what happens. And after a few days to a week, I lost complete craving for fried food. Um, so that was awesome. And it was easy enough. And uh, then I was ready to move on to the next step. But if I wasn't ready to move on, I wouldn't have. I would have said, okay, let me stick this out a little while longer. Let me just keep doing this no fried food thing until I feel comfortable moving on. And then I moved on to uh, switching breads which I love bread, I love pasta, um, but I switched it to a whole wheat variety. It takes longer for your body to digest, so it turns into fat, is less likely to turn into fat. Uh, the sugar takes longer uh, to come from those type of carbs, so that's awesome. Uh, definitely switching to whole grains, whole wheat, is one of the biggest factors of my weight loss. Beyond the diet, vitamins were a huge factor. B12 is my friend. I mean, it gives you energy, so fatigue is just gone. Um, helps you sleep at night because you've expended your energy during the daytime. And the best part is it helps you metabolize the food that you're eating. So it's like a big furnace there. You, you're putting the food in and it's just burning it right off. And so what happens is you lose all this weight and you go out into public and you see people maybe you haven't seen in a while and they're shocked. Or maybe they don't even recognize you. I, I've been some places and... I'm like, hey, how are you doing? They're like, oh, hello. Who's this guy? <laughs> and I have to tell them who I am, and they just stand there with their mouth open, which is always a good feeling because who wants to be rem remembered as the 400-pound guy? Um, I sure don't, uh, but it's always fun to show people pictures. At first, I was like, oh, I don't want to show anybody. I don't want to remember when I was almost 400 pounds, but it's really a success you want to brag about. And I'm not weighing 400 pounds anymore, so what's getting off my back is it? Why don't I just go ahead and show everybody? So here I am in this video to share with you my photo of me when I was nearly 400 pounds. And now I weigh less than 200, about 189. Still working on it, but hey, much better off than I was before, and it's a lot easier. And I'm able to eat sweets and stuff like that now. I know when to eat them. I know not to eat them every meal. They should be treats. And food shouldn't really be a hobby. <laughs> That's something you have to get out of your mind, and it will happen over time. That food is not something that you do when you're bored. Food is not something you do for entertainment. You need to find other outlets for that. Uh, I love karaoke, so I'll go sing, and uh, we do eat. But I eat a meal, and I'm done, and, and you know, it's not munching all night. So, um, But I, I still occasionally splurge, and you can too, I think. At least this is my story. 